Joining me, as on every Thursday, is Barnaby Joyce, Nationals front bencher and former Deputy Prime Minister. Barnaby, good to see you. Making more stuff here is a great idea. But should a government really be trying to pick winners? Uh, or, uh, when I ask a Nationals as a person, is that the wrong person to ask? I don't know. Well, look, I, I, I tell you what, um, I am a bit perplexed about why they have to subsidise what looks like possibly Mark Cannon Brooks and Malcolm Turnbull to make solar panels yes. at Liddell um, so that the yeah. uh, swindle factories can even rip us off even more. Uh, so now we've got subsidise, we've got power we can't afford and billionaires getting subsidised to help create the power we can't afford. I just, I don't know. There's logic in it somewhere and Mr Albanese and his VIP jet or well, the two VIP jets that landed in Scone and were chauffeur driven down to Liddell may be able to explain it to us, but um, it's got me bushed. Uh, so uh, oh, I know it's a good point. I, I just think you're dead right. If you just if if we had cheap power, if we had cheap, reliable, affordable power, then industry would come. But you can see that every major manufacturer that is basically having to deal on a level playing field is running for the door in Australia because our wage rates are higher. Well, Nothing we can do about that. Barnaby, I'll give you an um, example. Commodities are... The nickel industry. The nickel industry in Australia is on its knees now. Companies, uh, you know, uh, uh, closing because of cheaper power from Indonesia, among other things. So there you go. An example right there. Foreign Minister Penny Wong, by the way, Barnaby, on Tuesday said there's now a push Prime to Minister give Palestinians statehood. All right. Um, uh, yeah, well, it's I pen... think it is. That's probably... It is. She does think she's the Prime uh, Minister, I, actually, but anyway. I, I tend to think that she's leading the Albanese by the nose. I agree with you there. But uh, the opposition leader, Peter Dutton, he said, uh, he said uh, just six... For her to promote this idea, right, of Palestinian state or just six months after the Hamas terrorist attack on Israel, when Hamas still has 130 Jewish hostages, is rewarding terrorism and says the government is just trying to play politics right here. Here he is. We've got a Prime Minister who's trying to tell the Jewish community one thing and the Muslim community something different. The problem for the Prime Minister is that people can see that he's weak and he's walking both sides of the street and he's now got a foreign minister who has damaged our international reputation. And he's got a foreign minister who's either freelancing or he supports what she says. But this is the most significant misstep by a foreign minister in our country's recent history. What's your view, Barnaby? She's hardly a safe set of hands, is she? I mean, before we've been always told that, you know, Penny Wong is the, is the pick of the Labor Party and completely reliable. Well, um, she's just fallen off that mantle. Hamas is a terrorist organisation. So if you're going to recognise a terrorist, a, a state run by a terrorist organisation, then, then what happens when they visit Australia? We're going to have a 20 gun, 21 gun salute? Uh, are they going to come in and... Uh, walk around the blue carpet and meet people, a terrorist organisation. I mean, you've got to remember that what happened is Hamas started a war. They invaded, basically invaded um, Israel. They raped people, they killed people, they have got hostages and they've never, they've never, they've never retracted, they've never relented, they've never handed them back. They've still got the hostages and... We, nobody wants a war. We, nobody wants a war. Wars are horrendous, ugly, hor horrid things. But it's incumbent upon Hamas to hand back the hostages and start the process, which will start the process of bringing this war to a close, which I think everybody wants, except the people who keep holding the hostages, um, and that is Hamas. Yeah. Uh, I agree. I agree. It's like trying to make a deal with Hitler in 1944 when he still got Jews in concentration camps and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, let's, let's make a deal, uh, Mr Hitler. I mean, seriously. Um, Barnaby Joyce, you're the Shadow Minister um, for Veterans Affairs. I've been bombarded with complaints that the Royal Australian Air Force's old Point Cook base in Melbourne's west faces demolition. The 19 buildings there have been allowed to rot now, oh, look, uh, maintenance now is too expensive. But this was actually the original home of our Air Force in 1921. It probably has the last remaining World War II British-built hangars, plus an armament store nearly 100 years old. 
We now protect the most obscure Aboriginal sites because, you know, uh, maybe a rock was taken from there. Shouldn't we protect this? Yeah, uh, and also I have to be upfront. We have to take a bit of a rap for this because it's under a coalition government that they, they fell into disrepair. But that's no excuse for saying now we're going to knock them over. Uh, we have to understand the predicament that Australia is in now. We are in the, one of the most febrile environments since the Second World War. We have China basically breathing down our neck. We've got to realise that. We have got to become as strong as possible as quickly as possible. And we've also got to reflect on the circumstances this nation found itself in before, where Japan was trying to encircle us, which is uh, very close to what Wang Yi is doing with his visits to Dili, to Port Moresby, to the Solomons, to Kiribati, to Vanuatu. And things such as this hangar remind us of the circumstances that Australia has been in in the past. And if we don't learn from our history, we're bound to repeat it. And just like war memorials is so important, just like Anzac Day coming up, Anzac Day, not just April the 25th, Anzac Day. We see the lefties are even trying to remove that now. Um, all this, it's not just commemoration, it's also reflection, it's also learning from your history.